What's going on? It's been a while since I've been on camera. And uh, yeah, we're talking about Hell Divers 2. It's been a, it's been a hot topic, hot topic, hot topic. Unfortunately, the boys and I will not be playing Hell Divers 2, and I'll get to why. So, so the boys and I were looking into the game, you know, think it's really fun and stuff. And then, uh, well, one of the boys, uh, Grim Reaper, decided to filter by negative reviews. That's when we learned about the anti-cheat. So what I've gathered is that it's borderline malware, uh, and I'll give you specific reasons why they're saying this. You can go on Steam right now and just filter by negative reviews. It's like, it's... It's all, it's just all negative about anti-cheat. The game itself looks awesome. I mean, I, I wish I had a chance to play it, um, but now I guess I don't since I wouldn't want malware on my computer, but just uh, break down these comments for you, but you can read these on Steam if you want. So the anti-cheat they use is Enprotect Game Guard. And I guess what happened to this guy is all of a sudden the Game Guard decided to close random programs in his computer, even when he didn't have hell divers booted up and i guess if you uninstall the game the game guard uh is still there and it's what's known as a kernel level root kit now i don't know about you guys but i don't have that big of a brain and i'm not a tech savvy but i decided to do a quick google search so let's get into the description the description of a description of a root kit a root kit is a collection of computer software typically malicious designed to enable access to a computer or an area of its software that is not otherwise is allowed and often masks its existence or the existence of other software. So, 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 so not looking too good for uh, Hell Divers 2. Not only that too, it's kind of weird because it's a co-op game and it's PVE. Really the only way or the only reason why they would have an anti-cheat on a PVE game is to protect the premium battle pass, meaning that uh, people wouldn't be able to buy microtransactions. Now, I got a lot of this from Decoy Octorok, so props to you, bro. I'm just gonna say a little something right now, too, from Decoy Octorok, too. He said, premium battle pass and microtransaction currency in a fully $40 game, by the way. And I guess there is a way to prevent people from giving themselves microtransaction currency without invasive client side anti-cheat especially when your game's online only so yeah it's really uh really sad really sad because it looked like a really good game and i, I was getting all hyped up for it i was seeing all these videos of it like, oh the boys and i are gonna have such a good time on there we're all excited pumping our fist and then we saw the review and what's really weird too is if you look on steam a lot of stuff that's talking about the anti-cheat i guess they're trying to put water on the fire here Sorry, I've got a burp coming and I just decided not to let it out because I don't want to torture you guys. So it says on Steam, incorporates third party DRM and protects Steam Guard. So it's letting you know what it's using, I guess, as a little disclosure. It's also requiring you to agree to the EULA. It's a EULA? 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 I always call it EULA. But that stands for end user license agreement that's right i was dumb and i forgot what the acronym stood for and the fact that they're putting it twice on the site it's like just to let you know we're using this so you can't say anything you can't say anything um so that's interesting and also a user posted that since it's impossible to freaking uninstall game guard from your computer and from uh dig it into all those files somebody posted an altered gamer article that uh, helps you uninstall that. So I'll put that in the link below too, in case anybody's watching this and currently is playing it. Uh, there you go. You're welcome. So yeah, this is just a little like, uh, I don't know what would you call it? A watch out video. <laughs> this is just a video to help you out. All right. <laughs> and just for us to let you guys know why we won't be playing Helldivers 2, although it looked like a very fun game. It was bad, man. Change your anti-cheat. Maybe we'll play it in the future. Other than that though, nothing much. Yeah. Bye. This is my message to you. Take it or die violently.